Hi guys, so today I'm going to be bringing you a review of the Big Pink Box for May 2013. Yes, I realize it's June, but I just got it today. They've been shipping out later and later and later in the month, and but at least it's here. So that's that. And um, I did get my $5 off because the April box was so late. So if you did not get $5 off of your May box, I suggest you contact them. And if you still haven't gotten your boxes, um, they do not have an email system. They have a ticket support system. So you go to the Big Pink Box website and you simply open up a ticket. And if they don't answer it there, um, I don't know what else to say. I don't know why they're having so many issues. I can't speak for them. But um, I just know that they did move to the new facilities, but at least the June boxes should have gone out correctly. I know there was a little problem with PayPal and invoices, but hey, I hope you got yours if you are a subscriber. Now, um, they, should, they did change the format of what the box actually looks like. It used to come in that really colorful uh, splatter paint design box, and then they had put that inside of a UPS envelope. Well, now um, I actually threw the box out because my son was playing with it, so I don't have to show you that. Um, but it's pretty much just a plain cardboard box that's pink. Th think of like a Mac box, but pink. And then they put the label on it. So I was a little, I didn't even know what it was when it came. And um, when I opened it up, um, there was no information card. So um, I'm not sure where a lot of these products come from. I have no idea who the brands are. I just can't even tell you, which um, is a little eh, for me. But um, it wasn't a terrible box. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give it the thumbs down. It's it's got like one thumb up and one thumb down right now. So um, let's talk about the items that are in the box, and then we'll um, get a f better picture, we get get a better idea of where I'm coming from. Okay, so the first thing that I have is, and this is actually a repeat brand. It's the um, face fudge. And it's by EEM Collection, Evoke, uh, Evoke Elegance. And they actually gave um, like a facial scrub or, or something last time. Well, this is, this is a facial mask. You add a tiny amount of water to powdered mask to form a thick paste, apply to face evenly, leave on for 15 to 20 minutes until dry, rinse with lukewarm water, and remove back mask. Which is pretty nice. It's supposed to um, close pores, like uh, splash cold water to close pores, yeah. And it's supposed to leave your skin baby soft. And it's, I believe it's one time use, just as the other one was. And um, I look forward to using another product by this brand. And this one did actually come with a little information card as to what brand it's from. So that's good. I received this bracelet. There is no indication of where it came from or who makes it or how much it is or where I can find it. And I didn't get an email from the Big Pink Box telling me any of the brands because I know that they've been trying to go green where they're not giving information cards and whatnot but so I have no idea where this comes from or who makes it but um it's kinda punk rock I actually hate bracelets that close like this because the only way I can ever really close them is with my mouth and you know whatever but you know it's 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 a little punk rock but it's cute it's it's small enough that it's punk rock and it can make a statement but it's not overpowering and I really like that I think it's pretty cute and I will wear it that I would have liked to know who makes it because if I'm empowering all these women owned businesses how can I do that if I don't know who the women owned businesses are just saying um, I got another cute little bracelet and it came in this little thing and uh, I have no idea who it's from how much it costs and it's the same type of bracelet so I was a little shocked that I got two of the same type of bracelet I don't know if they're from the same person but um, it's also one of those whatever but what I like about it, it's got that neon color which is really big this summer and it's also got that little bit of punk rock edge so it's punk rock fun I guess um, it's pretty cute like I said I don't know who's from and I got this little baggie and uh, inside of it we have um, this company 3hearts.com now uh, you may recall from another one of my um, reviews that they sent out headbands I believe was two months ago that were absolutely awful completely lack of stretch you know very cheaply made and they were charging a lot of money for it but they redeemed their them oh yeah it was like this but mine was blue worst headband ever don't buy it don't buy it at all you'll regret it I promise go to the store get them for get the pack of them for like three for five dollars and call it a day but they sent these cute little earrings now I I hate wearing studs 
but um, that's my own personal preference and I won't hold it against them. And they are really cute. I think they would go great with this little neon bracelet for that whole kind of like punk rock 80s look. So, not terrible. Not the best, but not terrible. And then one of the really redeeming factors of this box was included was the Spectrum Cosmetics Lip Candy. I've been dying to try this. So seeing the little Tiffany colored box in my um, in my Big Pink box was really, really a surprise and really made me happy. Now if you don't know what um, a lip candy is, it's cosmetic foils for the lips. Now what you do is you put it on using a lip sugar glue and you apply the metallic strip but it doesn't have any metal in it. It's completely lip safe and you're supposed to have a metallic lip all day long and not have to worry about reapplying it. Now my friend Crystal actually tried these and she told me she had pretty much a nightmare uh, getting them on, that it didn't work at all, but um, I see all these people on YouTube doing it so I'm like if they can do it I'm gonna bust my arse and I'm gonna do it because I wanna, I wanna be able to wear this. This is really pretty. The color is Wine Mints and it's kind of like a burgundy color which I think is really pretty. I would have loved one of the like the 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 hot pink ones or whatever but um, I'm not gonna be choosy about that. So I can't wait to try this. I look forward to I look forward to mastering this. That's what I want to say. Um, and this is worth quite um, quite a pretty penny on their website. You know I think in and of itself it's maybe like twenty dollars. I'm not really sure because I don't have the price in front of me and like I said there's no card. But um this alone I feel redeems the box itself even if I don't like it even if I can't get it to work at least I can say well that's you know I got to try it which is the point of a subscription box so it fulfilled its purpose I got to try two unknown bracelets I got a funky pair of earrings and I got some facial scrub and the lip candy and this is what I look forward to seeing from the big pink box I don't know what's been going on with these really inconsistent boxes but this even though it's not perfect this is what I want to see from the big pink box because this pleases me this makes me happy I'm trying new things and I'm, I'm experimenting with new products and I, I like that I would love to be able to promote whosoever's products are in here but like I said I don't know who they are but um if you would like to check out the Big Pink Box, it's thebigpinkbox.com. They are they do have subscriptions. You can buy past boxes. It is $25 a month. They have a reward system as well where you get points and then you can get the, um, money off, I believe, products in the store. I'm not really sure how it works because I haven't gotten enough points to really know. But it's free shipping and um, hopefully now that they're in their new warehouse, things will be more consistent and things will go back to the way they were and we can start raving about them again. And um, one last point, the whole point of the Big Pink Box is to empower women-owned businesses. All these products come from small women-owned businesses. And at the end of the day, doesn't that make your heart feel good that you know that you're supporting small women-owned businesses rather than conglomerates like Walmart? Not that I don't like Walmart, because I do. But, you know, if I could see if you are going to spend money on a product and it's a good product, not like those headbands, you know, you'd want to go to the smaller stores and support those women and get those women, you know, get support those stores get get give them their due so that's that um, like I said those earrings really redeem that brand because you know uh, some every every company has hits and misses and what their products are but um thank you so much for watching and I post a picture of I posted a picture of everything I got on my Instagram which is recycled stardust and you can also check out my blog which is the cosmoholic and thank you so much for watching <laughs>